Hello everyone, my name is Magic, and today's commentary is, uh, stemming from something I had asked earlier, what I said if you guys had, like, you know, relationship questions, whatever, whatever, I'd try my best to answer and help you guys out. So, uh, this commentary is for one specific individual, and they know who they are, and today I have, uh, my girlfriend here. Say hello. Hi. And, uh, we're gonna run you through a situation that this individual, blah, 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 this individual is in. And uh, we haven't we haven't spoken about it yet, so this is us kind of our first thoughts on the on the issue. And I feel like uh, you know if we just talked right off the bat, it wouldn't really mask. You know, we 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 wouldn't hold back if we had talked about it before and recorded it after the fact. So let me uh, run you guys through exactly what has happened in a nutshell. I'll try to keep it as simple as possible, just so you guys can have some perspective. So our guy here and this girl named Chelsea. They, uh, they've been dating for a while, they got really close, and basically they've broken up. We'll get to why in a second, but basically they've broken up, and, uh, you know, they want to work something out, but, you know, whatever, and they've been really close, things were good. This guy's, this guy's best friend is also Chelsea's best friend, and this girl, her name is Rachel, she's always been here, been there for this guy, and, uh, been there, you know, really supportive, and, you know, she, she, he thinks uh, that she likes him, and it's kind of creating this complicated triangle thing because, uh, you know, it's their best friends, and he doesn't want to get in the way of that. Now, on top of this, as, as they've been, you know, kind of having their differences and trying to work things out, ultimately, uh, Chelsea, the girl who he was dating, is perhaps getting a little too flirty with some of this guy's guy friends, you know? And Rachel's not too happy about this because she knows that it's going to piss our guy off. And, uh... We're at the point now where, um, you know, Chelsea feels like Rachel's poking her business into places she shouldn't, so they're kind of a little upset with each other. And our guy wants to get back with Chelsea, but he likes Rachel. Like, you know, she's, he's, you know, she's, she, he knows she's always been there for him. And uh, at this point, she doesn't know if Chelsea has the same feelings for him anymore. Does that basically kind of sum up what's going on? Yeah, I think so. Okay, sorry about that. It's just the noisy stupid girls on my floor that never shut up um the first thing i'm kind of thinking about talking about is and regardless of the situation as complicated and as awkward as it might be my first thoughts go to uh why did they break up in the first place and actually sorry there was some more info that i didn't really touch on there but now now's a good time basically uh our guy said you know he doesn't have a job he doesn't have a car his money's tight for his family so he's not really um able to take Chelsea out on the kind of dates and provide the relationship that he feels that she expects. That's part of the that's part of the problem. So, anyways, let's let's talk about first why why they broke up in yeah. the first place. I mean, despite having feelings after the fact, there is like there's there's reason to have come to that decision. Like there's a well, reason why that happened. My first thought there is just there's so many things that you can do that that don't involve money necessarily. I mean. Was it, is it because she's having very high expectations maybe towards a relationship and maybe you guys need to talk about that before continuing with really Rachel or Chelsea? I feel like maybe the best thing to do is really sit down and talk to Chelsea and see what her expectations were outside of that. Does that make sense? I think so. I mean... I can see problems with that in, under their current circumstances, but I also want to kind of mention that the thing is relevant to say that we don't really know where they live. I mean, you and I, we live in a city. We can, we can get around on our own. That's true. A lot of places in the States and even Canada, for example, anywhere really, if you don't have a car, you can't get around. So this guy may or may not be really seeing Chelsea mm. or even Rachel anywhere outside of school or like after school stuff because he can't get around, you know, his doesn't have the money to get a car, and which is completely fine. It's just it does make things more difficult when mm. uh, you can't see each other. I just, I feel like, in, in despite all that, like, the best thing that you could do at the moment to really see where Chelsea's head at, is at, if you really want to be with her again, is to really see, you know, underlying factors if it was really just because you couldn't take her out because you had no money or you couldn't see her. It's, I don't know. I just, I feel like that's important before you continue with anything else. So just to kind of try and clarify, just make sure I'm understanding what you're saying exactly. So you're saying for now, 
at least at the beginning, the best move or a good move would be to sit Chelsea down one on one, say, "Hey, listen, like I know where we came from, and I get why we broke up because I'm not doing what you expect." I, you want to basically yeah. have him ask her, like, "What is it? Is it the fact that I'm we're not doing things? Is it?" Is it that because you I, I can't because of this? Like, is there something else I could do? Is it about yes, spending money? I feel, like, yeah, I feel like that's honestly the best thing that could happen right now. I, uh, I mean, I think you feel yourself that, you know, there's something going on here. There's trouble that between, you know, the fact that you do like Rachel, but you do love Chelsea. And it seems like you guys are also bringing your friends into this. And, and to be honest, like that never works out well. And I feel like the best thing that you could do for a situation like that is really go to the root of it and talk to Chelsea about the problem. Okay. All right, so let's just throw another situation here. Um, I mean, first off, before you can get to any of this, uh, talking to Chelsea might be an issue, especially if she doesn't feel the same way that our guy led on at the beginning, like if, if things are different now. I mean, that's a different story. But uh, I, I think anyone who's decent and who's been in a serious relationship would at least have the decency to yeah, sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one because either he'll accomplish finding out what he's lacking or what she needs or what her, where her head's at if he has a straight straight up down to earth conversation or what you would also get out of it possibly is uh i don't like this word because i always think of funerals but closure hmm. i mean to kind of put it behind and not to end on a sour note to really know where each other's at and to be like hey like this is I, yes. this is where we stand you like, know i think it's important like i feel like you know you guys have been together for a fairly long time i think that you know when you end a relationship like that you still have feelings for the other individual i feel like chelsea would be up to talking about it and really sorting things out especially if she's saying that you know at the beginning she said she wants to work things out you know so I just feel like it's important to really go to that first before, you know, anything else continues and, and you get hurt while she's talking to your friends. Like, it just, it's just, it's a bad s situation. You'd want to fix that, right? Yeah. And at the end of the day, um, if she's not willing to talk for, like, whatever her reasons are, that does tell you a couple things. I mean, yeah. one, it would tell you that she doesn't, she's, if she's not willing to talk, she doesn't have that desire to... It's possibly not. repair things and also if she doesn't if she's not willing to talk maybe she's not if she's not willing to even give you the time of day so to speak for that then maybe it's she's not, not worth it which yeah. is which is hard to hear because as you said like she was your first everything your first perhaps your first real relationship that's definitely not easy to hear but that might be the it's, reality of it it's for possibly. your benefit if that's really how she feels is you need to put yourself first really before you know somebody else's emotions so if she's really not willing to talk about it, then the best thing that you could do for yourself is maybe step away from the situation with Rachel and Chelsea and just really come yeah, back into friends. yourself. and Him yes. and Rachel are friends and they're on good terms. So, like, you know, how does he just drop that? That's not super easy. No, I don't feel like he should drop Rachel as a friend. I just, I feel like right now you just need to focus on yourself. I, do you agree? I feel like... I, I, I agree, oh, I'm stuttering, I agree in a way, but like, I don't think it's it's that simple because there's just, it's so much of his life is attached to this situation right now, I mean, obviously Chelsea being the, the relationship post or maybe in the future, I don't know, there's that, and then Rachel being such good friends with Chelsea makes things complicated, and also Chelsea, uh, you know, flirting with this guy's guy friends, that's, like, I don't know, I mean, let's talk about things one at a time here, let's start off with the guy friends. Um, mm -hmm. So, the reason why I mean, the, there's there's this bro code thing. You just don't date no, and some one of your buddies' exes. Like I just that's just yeah. And the and the only time you do is when like is when the guy like really really does have a thing for her. But either way, it's weird. And and also it's like kind of like you know dude, too soon, right? Like t enough not enough time has passed for things to have settled. Yeah. And that should be obvious to this guy's friends. And if they don't realize that, then either they need a a punch to the teeth or, or a rain check <laughs> <laughs> but um besides that though uh this guy does need to have a chat with his friends and if they get all defensive they need i don't know i think uh, our guy should at, le at the very least be like hey listen like you know at the very least give it some time like i was just dating this girl like for me please like just wait a bit 
Well, that's, that's something very that least. you need to bring up, too. Like, have you, have you talked to your friends about this? Have you told them, like, how it's actually... It, it is getting a little bit under your skin, because, you know, sometimes people just don't realize it until you really put it in their face, you know? No, um, you can't do it in, like, an asshole type of way, though. You need to be straight with your friends and be like, no, listen, this well, is how I feel, this is kind of what happened. I just feel like as friends, like, you definitely understand something like that. Especially if they've been through the same situation or they've been with somebody, just, you know, bring that out. They, they should be empathetic towards that as friends. Um, but what I wanted to bring up was, was Rachel again, is, she, you know, if she is your friend, she should understand that you need time to just step back from it, maybe, for a little bit of a while. She is Chelsea's friend. She could see how possibly Chelsea was hurt at the beginning. She sees how you're hurt right now. Yeah, but I he's feel- saying Rachel's got feelings for him, though, so she's not going to back off, especially because she's been there for him when he's been upset and right now he's upset so she's there for him well then even though it might be at the expense of her friendship with chelsea a little bit at the moment well then what that's exactly what i was going to say is i feel like then rachel should really decide if if she wants to be friends with chelsea and she's able to handle that and be friends with him at the same time she needs to decide i don't know i don't agree with that i don't think it's that black and white i mean They've been best friends for years, and just to kind of throw that away over a possible relationship with somebody is, I don't know, I think that's a, a bad move, but I think uh, just to kind of pull things back and simplify things here, I, I want to run through things real quick. I think the important thing now is to have that one-on-one chat with Chelsea yeah. and to see where her head's at. Talk to your friends who are involved with Chelsea and be like, you know, if they're really your friends, they should kind of at least give you some time. And uh, the last thing, or sorry, not the last thing, but the next thing, just to kind of touch simply and briefly on Rachel, what I was thinking is that, you know, you don't want to, you don't, you said yourself, you don't want to ruin their friendship by coming in between them, and you've got feelings for Chelsea as much as you know that Rachel likes her and you like her back kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I think in that regards, the best thing would be just to kind of don't get involved with Rachel yet. Yeah. Maybe you will one day, who knows, right? But you have time you know i think the important thing is to have those conversations and then not to rush anything else no because say say you and rachel were to start dating then it's it's gonna happen anyways at some point there's no need to jump into it right after you came out of another relationship especially with them being friends you know if if more time has passed and let's just say things between you and chelsea didn't work out um after your chat then uh you know time would heal they'd be they'd be okay with being friends again and if I mean, Chelsea, I'm sure she's not stupid. She'd recognize that you and Rachel have been close for a while, and it'd yeah. probably be, she'd probably be understanding, if if that's where it goes. We're not well, saying that that's what you should do, but if that's how it panned out, then I think time is your best friend there. That's what I feel like ultimately what it really just comes down to is you really need to talk to Chelsea. You need to see how she feels. You need to think about your feelings, because... Um, really, it's not it's not a good idea to get into a relationship with somebody else if you still have feelings for the other person that you were with, especially if your that friend is close to the other friend as well. Yeah. So it's it's just it's not a good scene. So, talk to Chelsea first, and really see where her has at. And maybe if you feel comfortable with it and it's not awkward, maybe even bring up Rachel, and bring up the friends, and see how you feel from there and take it easy. So. Yeah, you really gotta put everything on the table, I think. And uh, now, something else that just kind of popped into my head is like, let's say Chelsea says, okay, well, you weren't doing this, this, and this, but I'd like to get back together. Um, it, what, what if it's, like, how would you suggest he goes forward? Like, well, she, you know, she has a problem, and say he can address it. If they're both willing to give it another shot, how, how do you think that would work out? Well, don't make promises that you can't keep if you feel like you if it's just like a bad situation for you to get a job right now and really offer those things to Chelsea you have to make sure that you let her know that you can't live up to those expectations that Chelsea wants but you're willing to do other things for the situation for your relationship to make it work and if it's just about taking her out to places that actually cost you money and that's all you can't do and if that's the real core reason you gotta think twice about whether or not uh, she's the best person for you because yeah. that's not a good reason that's not a healthy reason to no. break up with somebody it doesn't really show really? if you really care and I don't yeah. know enough situation I'm not passing judgment I don't know enough about 
the two of you, but that's just, you know, keep that in mind, perhaps, okay, man? Yeah. That's really, a, uh, that's what it comes down to, so. Well, I think that about sums it up. If you uh, have any questions, of course, you can message me again. Um, <laughs> that's a long video. I, I think at this point, you're probably the only one still listening. But anyways, I'm Magic People, or Kevin. This is my girlfriend, Annie, and I uh, hope it helps. Good luck. See ya.